Welcome back to the channel. Today we will explore an exciting DIY project using the Avishkar Pro Kit. You will learn to build your very own archery ball. So grab your kit and let's get started. To build the base, we need two 7.5 inch rectangular plates, two 7.5 inch U channels, two wheels, two high speed motors, one 2.5 inch U beam, one caster wheel, one flexi strip, two 2.5 inch L channels, two 3.5 inch axle. So let's start building the base of the board. Firstly, connect two 7.5 inch rectangular plates to two 7.5 inch U channels. Then connect two high speed motors to both rectangular plates. Next, connect the wheels to the motor using a 3.5 inch axle. Now connect the two rectangular plates using a 2.5 inch L channel, which will work as a support function for the phone holder. Once that is done, connect two rectangular plates from the other end with a 2.5 inch U beam and fasten the caster wheel. Lastly, take a 12.5 inch flexi strip, break it in half and connect it to the 2.5 inch L channel to create a DIY phone holder. This will serve as the control hub. Now your base is ready. Let's move on to the shooting mechanism. To build the shooting mechanism, we need four 7.5 inch U beam or L channel, three 2.5 inch square plates, one high torque motor, one medium square gear, one large square gear, one flexi strip, two 3.5 inch axle and a rubber band. We will begin by connecting 2.5 inch square plates to the 7.5 inch U beam. Use two three hole connectors to align the square plates in the configuration as shown. Now put together two 7.5 inch U channels to the free end of the square plates. Moving on, let's connect a high speed motor to the longer side of the U channel and paired with a 3.5 inch axle with a medium square gear. Continuing the assembly process, we will add a large square gear and connect it to the medium square gear creating a locking mechanism for the rubber band. Now attach the square plate to the free end of the shooting mechanism. Next, let's connect a 7.5 inch U beam to the square plate and secure a rubber band on both the ends, creating tension for the shooting action. To provide essential support for the arrow, take the next step by crafting 2 inch flexi strip pieces and integrating them seamlessly into the design as shown. Our shooting mechanism is ready and now it's time to build a midsection for which we will need two 7.5 inch L beams, one high torque motor, three 5.5 inch axle, one small spur gear, one medium spur gear and one large spur gear. We will start by connecting two 7.5 inch L beams to the base of the board. Then we will create a high torque gear system for the up and down motion using one small spur gear, one medium spur gear, one large spur gear and three 5.5 inch axles. Now it's time to connect all three parts and make our archery board. First we will connect the shooting mechanism to the topmost axle of the midsection through the three hole connector. Then we will connect a 7.5 inch U channel parallel to the supporting tower with the gear system. This will act as the supporting pillar for the shooting mechanism. Now we will connect the full 2.0 grain to the front of the archery board. Lastly, we will connect all the four motors. Our archery board is assembled and it looks amazing. So it's time to put it to the test. There are two methods to control the archery board. Just to control using the Avishkar AMS AI and wirelessly using the controller in the Avishkar mobile app. Let's learn how to control the bot using AI. First, you will open the Avishkar Maker Studio on your smartphone or web browser. Create a new account if you haven't already. Navigate to the Code with Artificial Intelligence section within the Avishkar Maker Studio AI. Choose the full 2.0 option. Upload your code into the AMS platform. You can use image, hand pose, pose net or face mesh to configure your AI model. I will be using the hand pose to control various movements of the bot. With your code tested and AI model configured, let's test the bot out. To learn how to code using Avishkar AMS AI, check out the link in the description. 
You can also control the bot using the Avishkar mobile app. We will start by switching on the full 2.0 BLE brain on the bot. Now let's switch on the Bluetooth on the mobile phone and connect the full 2.0 brain through the Avishkar app. If you are using the kit for the first time, you'll need to register your kit before you can connect it to the brain. So ensure you do that before trying to control the kit. Let's go to the play section and connect to the brain. And that's it. Now you'll be able to configure and control the movement of the bot. And there you have it, your very own archery bot. From building the base to creating the shooting mechanism and connecting it to the brain, we've covered it all. If you have any questions or want to see more projects like this, let us know in the comment section below. So thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this project, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting DIY projects. Until next time.